Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in the previous session, we had discussed about various types of career opportunities which Embedded System can offer you. And we had also list out various domains in Embedded System and different job roles available with them. In this session, we are going to focus on Embedded Software Development. So if you are looking for a job in Embedded Software Industry, this video must be informative for you. So what exactly we are going to discuss here? First, we will try to understand the job role hierarchy, which most of the companies have in an embedded product development team. Then we will try to understand their job responsibility and related skill set. So let's start. In general, embedded engineer writes software that controls some hardware. It can be any code ranging from the lowermost hardware abstraction layer or device driver layer to application programming. So depending on the industry and the specific job role, you will be working at any of this layer. To take up a career as embedded software developer, you can start from application layer. With good programming knowledge of C or C++ and some exposure to application software development and also the basic understanding of microcontroller architecture and various peripherals. But as your experience grows, you should increase your knowledge and come up as a system person rather than being a hardware or software engineer. So after this much of understanding, let's try to understand various job roles available in embedded software industry and related responsibility and skill set. At entry level, you will be a part of embedded product development team where the expectation would be you should have some good programming knowledge in C or C++ and you must have some working knowledge with peripherals like ADC timer and various communication protocols. At this level, you also need to have good understanding of various software development lifecycle model like waterfall, V model and unified process. And you should able to draw various UML diagrams to convey your idea. I have made the complete video tutorial series on unified modeling language. You can find the link in the description of this video. At senior level, you will be leading a team. Here, the expectation would be you must be having expertise in programming and scripting languages. And you should be good in system low and high level design. And you must be able to use your experience to guide customer and management to take right technical decision. You might be spending good amount of time at this level during your career. To move on to the next level, you need to ensure that your learning matrix never falls and you are up to date with the new technology and trends that are being introduced. For example, today's trend is electric vehicle in automotive industry and IoT in automation. Pursuing a certificate or higher education degree is a good way to show your expertise and help to move on to the next level. In an organization, being a system expert or a specialist, you will be treated as a single point contact for all subject related queries. For example, if you are a digital signal processing expert, you will be contacted for all queries, issues and training related to DSP. And moreover, you will also be responsible to drive new project ideas. Then comes the management rules. While a project manager manages multiple tasks within a project, a program manager coordinates between multiple project teams, which are operating to achieve same objective or at least having some dependency with each other. The responsibility of a project manager starts with managing the project, defining project scope, scheduling and resource management. You need to pursue some professional certificates like PMP or PMO to land up at this level. 
So friends, here we come to end of this video. I hope I am able to convey the maximum information which I had gained from my experience and I feel you should know before starting embedded software development as a career. Please share your feedback on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for all upcoming updates. In the next video in this series, we will be discussing about resume writing. So thanks for watching, hope you like it.